All right, good morning, friends. Today is Tuesday, January the 4th, 2011. Brand new year again. Coming at you with another uh, pack a day. And uh, yesterday we had uh, the value pack of threads. We got some pretty good hits out of it. Uh, we got the Ocho Cinco uh, hit. Not numbered. We got the cross training, and um, we've got this uh, San Antonio Holmes gold, and we've got this nice rookie card of T.J. Ward, the only defensive player in the pack. So not bad. Got some fun things out of there. Gonna have fun organizing that in a little bit uh, today. Another value pack of uh, absolutes. Anxious to get into this one here. Mmm. Gotta drink my morning coffee. Alright, let's see here. Let's see which one is gonna. I think it's gonna be the bottom half, so we'll do the top half first. What I should do is just do this one today and this one tomorrow. <laughs> kind of. Do two different packs. This is this is cheap, and you got two packs this at once. All right. What do we have out of the absolute pack? Kyle Orton, who happens to be doing pretty good for the Colts. Uh, quarterback. Who's your mama? Receiver. Let me get in a little closer. There you go. Who's your mama? Receiver for the Seahawks. MJD. That's a shout out to my boy Austin. How you doing, bro? Uh, Matt Ryan. Quarterback for the Falcons. I'm going to see who was drafted before him. Man, he's good. Yeah, he's real good. Let's see who's, what teams passed up on him. It's be interesting. Figure out that. All right, the Aints. Uh, Perry Thomas and uh, Cedric Benson for the underachieving Bengals. Uh, Heinz Ward for the Steelers. You know what? Fun. Uh, Google or Wikipedia uh, the draft when he was drafted and find out how many people were ahead of him. It would be funny how many people are not playing. He's still tearing it up for the Steelers. That guy was a steal. Uh, McNabb with the Skins, quarterback. Tom Brady in the throwback digs. What's this here? Earl Campbell. A Canton absolute for the now Tennessee Titans. Let's see here. Campbell's rookie campaign of 1978 was one of the most successful in NFL history as he won Rookie of the Year, MVP, and All-Pro honors. He was also named Pro Bowl selection, the first of five in, in his six years in the NFL. He played only eight seasons but rushed for 10,213 yards. For the Houston Oilers. Nice, nice insert. Good looking card. I may have to start collecting those. Packers, Ryan Grant. Kevin Winslow Jr. Put him in the receiving receivers piles. Chad Henney. Let's see. Ben Raplisberger. Excuse me, Rothlisberger. I don't think I have a Matthew Stafford absolute, do I? Oh, all right, let me put this right over here. Got my shrine going. So I got a absolute, rookie and stars, prestige, epics, and the 2010 threads. Got me a nice little display going here. All right. I'm not even try to pronounce that. James... Lauren and Laurinatus, linebacker. He'll go in my defensive pile here. 
Dwayne Bowie. What does this say? It's strange but too true. Bowie ranks second behind a running back for receptions by a Chiefs player in his first three seasons with the team. Priest Holmes caught 206 balls out of the backfield. Bowie just missed the mark by tracking down 203 passes between 2007 and 2009. Nice. Uh, Roddy White, Eli Manning, and Jake DeLone for the Browns. All right, that covers the first pack. Swig of Joe. Hey, if you got any of these insert cards, let me know. If you don't want them, if you want to mail them to me, let me know. I sure take them off your hands. I like those. Um... Uh, Okay, let's see what we got here. I don't know if this is going to be a hit or not. It should be. But, uh, I mean, yeah, it's a hit. I can see the card right there because I've been kind of muffing on those, I mean, pack searching there. All right, Chris Johnson, fastest guy in the NFL. We'll put him in the backs pile. Ronnie Brown. For the Fish, Marshawn Lynch. For the Bills. And Nate Berlinson for the Lions. Stephen Jackson. A um, El Dorado High School shout out. From Las Vegas. That's where he's from. My high school used to play his high school. Jamal Charles. For the Chefs. And Anquan Bolden. For the Yardbirds. Dude's got some guns on him. Number 81. I wish he would have stayed with the uh, Cardinals. I think he have after Kurt Warner left. I think he's seen the writing on the wall. Uh, Steve Smith. For the Giants. Josh Cribbs. For the Browns. Darren Sproles. How tall is Darren Sproles here? 5'6". Man, I'm bigger than he is. 5'6", 181 pounds. I'm just not as fast as him. Uh, Chargers. Donnie Avery for the Rams. Sims Walker. Hold on here, I messed up my pile. Put uh, my running back in my receiver's pile. Okay, Sims Walkers for the Jags. Michael Turner for the uh, for the Falcons, and this is uh, Brandon Jacobs for the New York Giants, number 27, eight fits for the Bengals. I'll put him over here. Oh, messed up my pile again. There we go. Keep keep putting the. Receivers in the back pile. And vice versa. Rashad Mendenhall for the Steelers. Aaron Rodgers for the Pack. This is the first time we had a quarterback in a while. Then receivers and backs. Jay Cutler for the Bears. Wes Welker for the Pats. Cobb for the Eagles. And it looks like. Uh, looks like it's going to be a Bronco. Looks like it's going to be a Bronco. Do we get some Tebow mojo? Keep your fingers crossed. We got some Tebow mojo. Let's see here. Tools of the trade. I see some tools of the trade. Wish me some Tebow mojo. Is it Tebow mojo? No. Hey, Terrell Davis. Yeah, one of only like five or six, uh, running backs to rush for more than 2,000 yards. Terrell Davis. This is nice. This is a nice hit. Tool of the trade. Looks like we got a little uniform of TD. Davis 
Davis's college career began at Long Beach State but eventually made its way into Georgia. He never got untracked oh, he never got untracked for the Bulldogs, peaking with eight hundred and twenty four yards effort as a junior. Maybe he was saving it all for the Broncos, where the two time Super Bowl winner was placed on the NFL rushing 1998 with 2,008 yards. Card number 203 of 250, yeah. It's interesting. He had a, um, during the Super Bowl, during the Super Bowl campaign, one of the Super Bowls with the Broncos, he was suffering migraine headaches during the game, and he couldn't see. So that uh, uh, John Elway said, I'll just do a little play action. You just act like you're getting the ball. The defense... You know, that'll keep him honest. And then he, he did a couple pass plays into the end zone, and that helped him win the game. He didn't even, he couldn't even see his migraines were so bad. But he kept playing. Wow, this is a big hit right here. Nice. One of only four or five people to rush for 2,000 yards. Hey, that's a good question. Can you name me, not for the card, this is just a good question. Can you name me all the players that rushed for 2,000 or more yards? No Googling. Don't Google it. Just can you sit down and think about it? Can you tell me? And I'll give you a hint. One of the players was one of the people, one of the running backs I called in this stack today. So I've, I'm holding two of the players in my hands right here. They have rushed for 2,000 yards. Can you name me the others? All right. 